Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping into a game called Crypt Custodian. Now, I don't really know anything about this game other than the fact that the art style caught my eye on the Steam page. And it's a Metroidvania kind of game, apparently. So we're going to hop in and try it. But first, I'm going to go ahead and read you the Steam page. Crypt Custodian is a charming Metroidvania about cleaning up the afterlife. Play as Pluto, a mischievous cat who has died and is sentenced to be the afterworld's janitor forever. Hang out with the other doomed ghosts, battle beasts, and explore a vastly expansive landscape. Let's play on hard. We have easy, normal, and hard. Let's just go hard. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're awake. My name is Pip, and I will be the your guide to the palace. Wait, what? The palace? I was just outside on the street. Where am I? Oh, well the palace is the most beautiful part of the afterlife, but we aren't there yet. This is just the entryway. It's where all the new ghosts first land. Ghost, so I'm dead? Oh, well, yeah. Sorry, I should have led with that part. Well, don't worry about that too much just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She is the guardian of the afterlife. You'll have to make your way to her chambers, and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. Good ghosts go to the palace, where they experience never-ending bliss, and bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Come on, you should get going. All right, I gotta admit, Pluto's a pretty cute ghost. Pip's pretty cute too. All right, like, I don't you guys love this art style? This is what drew my eye. Okay, I just damaged myself by going into the water. Don't do that, because apparently you can jump off the edge. There's the statue here though, that's pretty cute. It looks like a little I'm assuming it's a frog. So, what's it like inside the palace? Oh, well, I'm not actually sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Were you bad or something? I guess I must have been, because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to live outside the palace, she sentenced me to be a guide for all eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes the rules, and she always sticks to them, no matter what. Okay. But don't worry all about that too much. I'm sure she'll let you into the palace. She's bound to let someone in there one of these days. Wait, she's never let anyone in? Are we sure she's not the bad one? New item. You found a broom. Okay. I like this animation. Now I can break the pots. Is this considered cleaning up the afterlife? This Kendra person might be evil. Because Pip doesn't seem bad and they, uh, apparently no one's been let in from what I understand. So now we're back where we started. You can see here, back at the statue. And we're going to go ahead. I walked over this way the first time and I seen... I couldn't get through here, so I needed the broom first. Hey, you made it! Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just be on your best behavior, because you really don't want to be on her bad side. Good luck in there. Thanks, Pip. Oh my gosh. Aw, hey, little guy. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I am the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh. And sorry that you died and all that, by the way. That just makes me so sad. This over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss, 
If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this door leads outside of the palace. You really do not want to be sent out this door. Well, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at your life. Aw, this says you were born as a stray and you had a brother and a sister. So cute. And then it seems like you were adopted by a really nice couple and they took really good care of you. You love to sleep and get pet. Wow, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. And then one night, it seems like you escaped from your home, ran onto the street, and... You poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You were a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, hmm, wait a second. There seems to be another page. Oh no. This says that after you died, you landed here in the palace entryway and you smashed some of my statues. This is just awful. I'm afraid that you have been a very bad cat and as punishment, you will be banished to the outside of the palace for eternity. Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. Hmm, you thought that you were supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not going to cut it. I do feel for you though. If you think this sucks, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you for eternal torture. Well, enough wallowing, it's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm also senten sentencing you to become a janitor for in the afterlife forever. So hold on to that broom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit to the door on your left. Wait, is there anything I can do? I really don't want to be doomed forever. Sorry, little guy, that's just the way this works. Plus, if I let you into the palace, that would be totally unfair to all the other ghosts I doomed. Sorry you didn't make it into the palace. I really thought you could do it. Well, that's depressing. The tutorial was my own doom. Out into the rain we go. Weeping Waste, new area. Very bad cat, get banished from the palace. All right, well, I suppose we should start making our way some direction. What is this, garbage I have to clean up or something? Looks like it might be some kind of currency. All right, I love some good rain. All right, we do have some enemies around and he did get a hidden on me. So maybe we have to be a little more careful than I've been. Ooh, the jump attack seems quite powerful, actually. A jump attack that garbage, and it almost instantly... Well, it did instantly break it all. Okay, we have a little cat well of souls here. We are where we can save it, we can equip stuff, apparently. And we can teleport to others. Okay, interesting. What do we got here? Requires one key to unlock. Some kind of bird place? Let's say, let's go to the right first. All right. You gotta be careful of these guys because I honestly think jump attacking might be the way to go. Play this like I play Elden Ring. I don't think we can get across this yet because I don't think I can jump that far. So that's one of those things we're gonna have to come back to. I guess we're going left. Okay, we do have a dodge roll. That's good. Is this going to be a boss already? No, I think it's just a challenge room, technically, kind of thing. Oh, yeah, look. We got to kill that many enemies, I'm guessing. Ooh, I love, I love good bullet hell mechanics. There we go. Easy. Ooh, we got a ranged guy. Okay, good to keep that in mind. Kill this stupid jar boy. Ow. Oh, he was a little tankier than I was expecting. Looks like if we just barely miss, the game actually decides to save us. If we just barely miss the ledge. You can see there, it summons like a little ghost. 
But we have to, we still have to make it there pretty much. I guess it's the equivalent of like a mantle, like a grab mantle kind of thing. I'm assuming these guys probably unlock this little gate here because they have keys above their head. There we go, beautiful. I did miss a little spot back there. I'm wondering if I should go back to it. Hey guys, I found a key. Now we can go into that fish place. I do like to explore extensively. What are you, dude? Okay, I can stand in front of you and be fine. Gotcha. Now this looks like something I cannot do yet, so I think we have to head back. Press Y to unlock to the bird bar, I guess. The Sinner's Inn. Hey kid, welcome to the Sinner's Inn. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts are more fun anyway. I'm Marla, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here. So when you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop by in here and buy something. And I'll tell you what, as a welcome gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack at a massive discount. It's called Super Sweep. Go on and pick it up. Creates a spinning circle of brooms around you. Oh, cool. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. There's one just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left of your screen will fill up. When it's full, press B to use your special attack. Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip your new attack. You can teleport between shrines, so be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect more garbage to spend. Okay. I actually have garbage right now. Creates a circle around you that hurts nearby enemies. That's all I can get right now. Let's go for it. Nice doing business with you. This is, wait, is this not even a special attack? It's just something I can use? Heck yeah, look at that. It just always stays on us. I like that a lot, actually. Now there's these frog shrines around. I wonder if that's actually going to be... I can't break them. I wonder if it's going to be a hint at whatever the boss is going to be. Reelect Kendra for Afterlife Overseer. Who put that down? Nobody is having a good time here. Hey, we found the glowy orb. Upgrade points. Collecting upgrade points allows you to equip more upgrades from the save shrine. Okay, cool. Each upgrade requires a specific number of points. You now have five. Okay, cool. The other one we have, the spinny thing, takes four, so. Now we have one free. Looks like we got another challenge, maybe. Oh, one of these guys again. Oh, you can't be too close, gotcha. Okay, I'm throwing. I just need to stop throwing. And we'll be fine. Good dodge, me. You're almost dead. Get smacked. Okay, that felt a little bit cheap. I didn't even see the charge up line. Alright, we gotta bait him out. Going for the smack. Beautiful. Okay. Some of you might think I'm bad, but personally, I think I'm doing pretty great. Alright? If I could find another save shrine, that would be nice. What do we got here? Defeat a horde of enemies without taking any damage. Well, I can't take any damage, so sure. We gotta lock it in. Okay, I did it. Heck yeah, what do we get? More garbage and something? Ooh, an upgrade point. Heck yeah. Definitely worth. Alright, I feel like we're making some good progress. The music's very chill, by the way. Which is nice. You got the rain sounds for some peaceful relaxation. So I think the best way to handle the archers is to bait their arrow out, get a jump attack, and then just dive them. Honestly, probably same with these guys. Just get a jump attack and then dive them. A couple paths that we didn't take yet, but I, I'm kind of looking for something 
Pearl Shrine, okay. This feels like something I was looking for. Hey, sorry to scare you. I was just up in the raptor sweeping up some grime. This whole cavern is a shrine dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm a bit embarrassed to see it get so dirty, so I'm trying to clean the whole place up. Oh, so you're a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. But Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all eternity. She sentences everyone to the same fate, although most ghosts just stop cleaning after a while. Well anyways, my name is Pebble, and I'll be around here cleaning for a bit, so I'll see you around. Wait, did you just say every ghost is a janitor? Yep, every ghost here has been sentenced to clean for eternity. You'd think that after a while, this place would actually start to look clean, but the garbage keeps flowing in. Okay, so Kendra's definitely, like, corrupt in her position. Okay, so Pearl is the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm not gonna lie, I thought she was about to say her name was Pearl. I was gonna die. So, I should probably just clean up this garbage. And then see if Pebble has anything to say to me. Alright guys, I think I might have cleaned all the garbage unless this whole area counts as the shrine. Let's go see if Pebble has anything to say. Nope. Alright, so maybe we should go back to the first area and keep looking around for something. Because I think this is technically the next area. Jukebox disc brings discs to the center's end jukebox for a reward. All right. A couple collectibles, which is to be expected, I suppose. I'm kind of looking around this area to see if I missed anything. The combat is actually very nice in this game. And, like, it has good, good combat, good art style. The story seems really nice as well. Kind of messed up. Seems like this Kendra is just abusing power and forcing everybody to clean. But also I'm a little confused because it also seems like she's not even going into the palace. So something's going on there, I feel like. Is the palace not even real? I guess we'll find out. Guys, look at this ghost fish in here. That's pretty cool. It's literally just a fish skeleton because it's dead. Okay, so we have something there. I'm not really sure what it is. Hey, what's this? Ooh, is this going to be a boss fight? Dead Man's Curse. Enemies will create a dangerous blast upon death. Defeat 15 enemies to remove the curse, but we get an upgrade point for a reward. I'll take it. I feel like my great game got a little bit framier after I got the curse, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we got another save slot here, so this is probably another new area. I'm kind of curious if I can find a boss. Have you seen any of my children? Please free them from their vessels and I will reward you. Okay, so poor mama cat doesn't know where her babies are. That's a little sad. Oh, I forgot enemies explode. I was like, why are they doing that? I've never seen this happen before. But it's worth it because we get the upgrade point. Also, when we take damage, do we just lose? Are we locked out until we beat the curse? Can I make this jump? I cannot make that jump. Okay, so this is not a way to, I can go yet. Guys, look, I went back to the beginning. The garbage does just keep piling up. So I feel like she's probably putting the garbage in. But we do have a lot of garbage that we're using as currency, so that's something. So we can't go that way. We could probably go straight through. I just realized the enemies are just trash monsters too. There's something awfully sus around here. I forgot. Oh no, we finally died. I did not lose my money, so... I don't know if there's any uh, punishment for death in this game. I also forgot I was playing on hard. Hey, look at these little guys. You're kind of cute, little trash spider. The heck are you? Oh, I gotta hit you into that thing? 
Okay, cool. New mechanic. Oh, now I gotta hit you over there. Assuming I hit you back, and then I hit you this way, and then I hit you diagonally. It's not what I meant to do. I'm thinking. I think I might be overthinking this. Let's bring it that way and check over on the, on the other side for another. Wait, did I already unlock? I already unlocked it. Makes attacks thirty percent stronger at low health. Okay, that's not bad. Hey, little bud. So funny seeing you here. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. What are you doing here? Don't you live in the palace? I sure do, but I like to come out here and see how all you bad ghosts live. Keeps me humble. Oh, by the way, I was wanting to talk to you about the whole me dooming you to eternity thing. I just wanted you to know that there's no hard feelings. On my end, at least. So I was hoping we could just, like, get over it. Alright, off you go. First of all... Whatever. Sorry, bud. I can't let you in here. This area is for VIPs only, and I've never even seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now scram. A mouse, I'm dead. There's no way I can hit it off enemies, right? That'd be crazy. No, I can't. Guys, I see what we're supposed to do now. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I did that initially, like, by accident, and then... Oh my gosh. Okay. We just gotta be... Think outside the box here. I gotta be smarter than I am, apparently. We got another key, everyone. I can probably choose which way I want to go after that, but let's go here first. There you are. I just love this statue. I think it looks just like her. Did you know her? I did. And I miss her so much. You see, in frog culture, dying is one of the saddest things that, that can happen to someone. So now that I'm dead, I worry a lot about her. Oh, she's alive. Okay. I just hope she's okay. Well, anyways, I guess I gotta go back to cleaning. Okay, so she's alive. So that's technically a good thing, but it's sad that... It's sad that Pebble died, right? Because Pebble doesn't get to be with her anymore. She said saddest or most beautiful frog to ever live, which made me think that uh, that Pearl was the dead one. Fireball traps, huh? I think I got this. I'm a champion, dude. Look at that. You get a little speed boost when you like bunny hop too. So that's something to keep in mind. Heck yeah. It took me way too long to get that because I kept hitting it the wrong way. Or like, I kept hitting it the wrong way when I went to, I would dodge roll here and then hit the wrong way like that. Now how do we do this one? I think I gotta hit it up here again. And then, then maybe just do the same thing, but the other way. So we can go like this, get over here. Oh, never mind. That was it. Nice. Nail it. I knew what I was doing. I like the addition of traps. It makes it more exciting. And I just feel cool. Especially since I let these guys hit me way too much. Don't underestimate the bell guys. They can annihilate you. Okay, this is a lever probably. Yep. So now we can get back to the beginning if we want to. The way they have combat styled reminds me a lot of, like, Cult of the Lamb. And that was also a really good game. I actually beat that whole game. I don't know if they've added any content since I beat it, but... I've, at some point I had 100% of the achievements, but I know they added achievements since then. Which was a little sad, because now I don't have 100 on it anymore. I should probably go back and get those at some point. Alright guys, we found a save point. We're getting pretty far up. Look how much we've explored already. I think this is Pebble's broom. It looks like she dropped it. Oh no, don't tell me something happened to Pebble. Pot full of spiders. 
Dude, I knew we were going to find a boss. This was the moment I was waiting for. Okay, watch out for the spider attacks. Oh my gosh, it wasn't wrong. Look at all these spiders. It's using the spiders as a bullet hell. I actually like that a lot. That's cool. Wait, hold up. I haven't used my special attack a single time. I don't think I have it equipped though, do I? I totally forgot that was a thing. I was so distracted by my upgrades. Whatever, we'll beat it without any. Okay, something's happening now. It's like mad. Cool music. Oh, oh it baited me. I thought I was safe, but then it did another attack. Alright. Alright, you gotta be careful here. Because it sends out a circle in the middle of those waves, which is actually scummy. Stay away from me, spiders. What is that in there? Oh my gosh. No! I was so close. First try, baby! My downfall- Wait, that was- Pebble! Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I think so. I was just trying to clean off some grime from that pot, and I guess I fell in. I should probably go outside of it anyways. Being here in the shrine for too long is always bringing me down. You know, I don't mind being stuck outside the palace most of the time. I wish I could go inside just once so I could see Pearl again. Wait, I thought you said she was still alive. Is she in the palace? Oh, you don't know? There is something very special inside the palace. It's a mirror made of, cr of crystal soul. Any ghost who steps inside the mirror can visit Earth again for just a moment. The living won't be able to see you, but you can at least feel their presence again. And maybe they can feel yours as well. But, I guess it's not really worth thinking about things like that. After all, we're stuck out here forever, so getting to use the crystal mirror is totally impossible. I guess I should just get back to cleaning then. Thanks again for helping me back there. Alright, there we go. We have a new friend, Pebble. Oh, and I have something for you, by the way. It's in the room just north of here. You can go and grab it. Alright. Pebble is now our friend. What's this? Air dash. Heck yeah. Your dodge roll has been replaced with a much quicker ground dash and your stamina refill time has been drastically improved. You are invul invulnerable while dashing. Dude, this is going to be crucial. The plaque reads, Dear Pearl, may we see each other again someday. Love, Pebble. Dude, Pebble is the sweetest person ever. And I feel very bad for Pebble. Let's try to get to the palace. Hey, what's this? Boss rush mode has been unlocked from the main menu. Any boss that has been defeated in the game can be replayed in this mode. Okay, cool. Not sure that's something I really care about. But this is definitely where we're going to be wrapping it up here, guys. Because um, this recording is going on much longer than I wanted. But I wanted to show you guys a boss. 
And I think this game has a lot going for it. I honestly think that the art style is amazing. Like I said, it's what drew me into this game in the first place. The combat style reminds me of Cult of the Lamb, which is super, super fun. I played through that whole game, like I said. The whole vibes of the game are super, like, chill. There, I mean, there, there can be stressful moments, obviously, like when you're close to death and there's a crap ton of enemies around. But the overall vibe of everything is, like, super sweet and pretty chill. So if that's something you guys are into, definitely I would recommend checking out this game. Other than that, if you guys do want to see this as a series, make sure you let me know down in the comments or by leaving a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Ring that bell so you don't miss out on those future episodes, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.